What's up guys? Welcome to part two of the, I know that was kind of cheesy, but whatever. I hope you guys laughed. You know, if you laughed, hit that like button, subscribe. But hey, welcome to part two of the 50 to a thousand dollar challenge, guys. Um, you know, while uh, I was, well, last week on Friday, after I had already uploaded that video, I had found a trade with Ripple because you can trade Ripple 24 seven, seven days a week versus four exits, you know, 24 seven, but five days a week. Um, I did make a trade on Ripple, so I'm going to update you guys on that. Um, and then we're going to get into, you know, the rest of this trading week. So the way I do this is um, each part is each week. So, you you know, at the end, you can kind of see how many weeks it took. Um, and another thing, guys, I'm not trying to like flip the account and over leverage my account. I'm trying to show people how they can grow their small accounts using proper risk management you know, because yeah, I could put a 50 cent lot in, you know, on any of those trades because I had zero drawdown and I could have made two, $300, but that's not the point of it because any new trader out there that does that, they're going to lose money. So I'm trying to show you guys the proper way to do it. Um, but guys, if you guys are liking this video, you know, you're liking this series, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button so that and the alert button. So that way when part three comes out, you guys will get notified and you'll be able to see where my account's at. And then also my Discord link is in the bio. So if you wanna get these free trades that I'm even showing you guys on here where I'm making money, you can get that right below. Other than that, let's hop into the video. What's up guys? I know it's another day because um, I was talking a little bit the other day. Um, I just wanted to keep you guys updated, but hey, here, here's what it looks like for me in the morning. Obviously I got that crazy hair, just made me some eggs. Uh, gonna put that on some toast. And then over here, I just called a trade out in the free uh, group. So if you guys want to go and actually look um, and, and get these free trade signals, then you are more than welcome. But we just got into this GBP odd. I actually called it just down here. That's right here is where I called it. You guys can actually see. I'll show you guys so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. Buy GBP odd at 934. And that was five minutes ago. So five minutes ago would have been right here. So I already got into the trade, but I'm still going to show you guys. That way you guys know I'm not faking it, using different accounts, blowing accounts, putting other ones in there. No, still that balance of $114 after that Ripple trade. Because um, if you guys didn't, see, you guys saw, remember, took that Ripple trade, da, 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 da. Now we'll go back over to here. This is where we just placed the trade. And the reason why is I'm going to show you guys on a higher time frame. So if you guys look at the four hour chart, Price is still making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher high. Another higher low again. We bought this uh, last week all the way up to here. Now we're buying it again off this trend line for another bounce up to the top. So let's see how this trade plays out and I will update you guys whether it's a win or a loss. So this is just, a, I'm gonna let you guys see just like the regular life of what it's like to be, you know, a drop chipper, uh, a day trader. Like I've already got my excuse me, I, I had to get a drink, but I've already got my drop shipping stuff done. That literally took me about 20 minutes this morning. Um, and then I hopped on the charts and I made sure that I could call a trade for everybody in that free discord chat. Again, link is in the bio. If you want to get access to my free trades, we've only lost three trades in the last six weeks, guys. I don't know anybody out there that's doing that. I know a lot of people are out there charging 40, 50, a hundred dollars a month and they're actually losing you money. Comment below if that's happened to you. You've bought a signal service and they are losing you money. But, you know, just as I uh, place the trade, I kind of walk away and I eat my breakfast. Got an egg and cheese sandwich toast on a toasted, uh, toasted whatever. Mmm. So good with some hot sauce. And I'm having a coat just to wake myself up because it's only, well, 9.30 in the morning. That's early to me. The stock market just opened up too. So I'm gonna show you guys to see how the trade is going since I actually called it. So boom, we got into the trade right here. We had some drawdown. Might not look anything crazy, but people sit there and they stare at the five minute chart and if they were to have gotten the trade, like, you know, in the free group, which everyone in the free group should know by now, you know, you don't, ha you don't freak out, but we got in right here and they see this big candle going down. A lot of you guys, if you were to see it like that and you got in right there and you were to see it like that, you would freak out. I actually got another entry right here at the support level. 
So I actually made more money than if it would have went straight up from that point. So it, we had a little bit of a drawdown and then boom, price just smack, take profit long guys. So let's go ahead and actually take some profits here. So we're up about $18 on all of our trades. What we're gonna do is we're gonna close this trade. Boom, boom, easy. Then we're also gonna close this trade. Boom, easy. And I'm gonna show you guys that re-entry that I got. See, that was my first entry right there. The, uh, and then the other ones that I took profit on. And then this was the other entry where I got an even better position on. And I took profit, or I'm not taking profit there. I got my stop loss break even, stop loss break even. And then I'm gonna let this trade continue to ride up to take profit too. So we could potentially make another about 15 to $20. And then so far we've made $10. So this could end up being a 25 to $30 trade on just a hundred dollar account guys remember this started at 60 bucks so we've already doubled our money and then in equity we have 131 dollars so stay tuned for the next trade uh it might not be for a while but for you guys it'll only be two seconds what's up family you know just had to come up to the bank to do a couple different things got to move some money around you know all that good stuff i swear i'm at the bank more than the bank manager is i swear if you guys have followed my stories, you know, last year, now I was here every single day. But there's certain things that I still have to come in here and have to move around, guys. So follow me into the bank. Let's see what's going on in here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Please like, subscribe, and you guys will see part three coming. So again, guys, I had to get into GBP Auto. As you guys can see, like I was saying, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher low, higher high higher low now it's projected to make its next higher high we bought our one entry here we bought another entry here we had already taken profit so let's since we're zoomed out to the four hour chart let's now go into the hour chart so as we can see here Price had, was a strong su uh, support right here, and then it broke and became resistance, right? And then price just broke that area, and now it's holding as support, if you guys see that. So now all I did was go down to the smaller time frame, because if it's holding as support, if it can't go down, it has to go up, right? So we'll go down to a smaller time frame. Do, 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 do. Do, do. And we go to the five minute chart. As we can see, like I always like to wait for it to see, you see how the moving averages crossed right there and price went above it. I just got my first entry literally right here. I'm going to show you guys. So I just snagged an entry and what I'm waiting for to get another one. As soon as price, I drew a fib from this, this push up right here. And then to where you see a bearish candle, that's where I put the top of my Fibonacci. If price comes down to the 50 to 61.8, that is when I will add my second entry. And guys, this is only like a 15 pip stop loss. So, and we're shooting for anywhere from 20 on the first take profit upwards to 50 pips. So that's over a two to one risk to reward ratio. So I'll let you guys know how this trade ends up going. And I will be back here in a few minutes. But for you guys, like I always say, a few seconds. This is where we got in at. Price shot all the way up. I was up about 18 to $20 on my account. I fell asleep and didn't put my take profit in. And luckily I have my stop loss in, so let's go check it out. Ended up losing about $20 because those ones were like two bucks each or whatever. So I ended up losing $20 on the trade, but you know, it, that's the thing about it. Our losses are small, our winners are gonna be bigger. Since I have a bigger account now, I'm doing bigger lot sizes. Like we're in a trade right now. I just sold GBP odd. I seen a big push down and it pushed up for a little bit of a retracement. And then we're gonna catch the move all the way back down to here, take profit and we'll make our money back plus some. All right guys, like I said, you always gotta keep your losses small and your winners bigger and you'll always be profitable. Let's check out this trade that I got in that I was just showing you guys. This is where you gotta learn patience and then also know what you're doing when you're getting into a trade and know how to get a second entry. This is when we first called the sell. And then this is actually how much drawdown we were in, which was about like 10 pips of drawdown. But I knew that that was a strong 
area of resistance. If you see over here, price was struggling to break. So once I saw it held there, I got my second entry and then look, price came down and hit my first take profit, came back up to my entry and then dropped again. So we're about to take some profit. We're up about $30. Um, well, I'm about to wait here a little bit. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna take, let me see. I'm gonna wait about a little bit longer to take profit and I'll show you guys here in a second. All right, y'all, I gotta hurry up and take profit, but check this shit out. We lost $22 on that one trade. Look, we're up 55 bucks. Gonna close this trade out right now for a profit of, come on, would you zoom in? $32.99, let's let it keep going for a second. Let it keep going for a second. And Come on. She's still dropping. So let me go check my chart real quick. Look at her drop. Look at this entry, guys. All the way up there. All the way up there. I guarantee you. Here, I'm going to tell you guys something here in a second. While I take profit here. Let's get it to 35. Come on now. Come on now, right, we'll just take it. We ain't gonna be greedy. You can never be greedy. Now I got the, so we lost $22 earlier. We just made 31. So we're still up $9 and these tr trades right here are completely risk-free. The stop loss is actually in profit. So we're actually gonna make more money. I'm gonna look at that. It keeps dropping, keeps dropping. So our total equity is at $164. So. We basically tripled this account, and I'm still up $28 after taking that profit. What I want to show you guys is what most people what most people do. A lot of people in IML, I guarantee you, they were buying this. Hold on, let me go to the hour because they say double bottom, double bottom. But you got to understand multiple different things. You got to understand price action. Like I trade slowly, just off of price action. Like, you see how price came down to here and they would call that a double bottom? Well, that you don't, a double bottom is not anything until it's actually printed, right? So you've gotta have multiple different confirmations of why you're getting into a trade. I don't just trade something because it's hitting, you know, uh, a support. Like, there's gotta be a reason why. Like, the reason why I got in this trade is you see this big push down and then the pullback happened also a major area of uh, broken resistance now support so i sold it all the way down and now we took profit and check out we took we took our big huge our, our big lot size out and price is already starting to come back but we got our entries right here and up here so they're break even so price can retrace all the way up here while i'm sleeping tonight and it doesn't matter because i believe that it's going to keep dropping so we took our big lot out now because we don't want to risk it going all the way back up and then losing all that uh, profit that we could have had or it coming back and just breaking even. So we're at 160 equity, $31 off that trade, and we're still up 26 bucks. So I'll update you guys in the morning on how this actually goes while I'm sleeping. Let's see if I can make some more money while I'm sleeping. You know, because drop shipping does that every single night, but... So does this. Like, you got to have multiple streams of income, guys. Comment any questions you have below. Like, um, and now I'm going to start doing bigger uh, lot sizes since I got my account up. So you're going to start to see the ac account grow faster and faster and faster. So, guys, go smash the like button for that trade. We absolutely killed it. I deserve you guys to just quickly go over there. It takes you two seconds to smash the like button. Snipe that like button just like I sniped this right here. I appreciate you guys for all doing that. I really do. It helps out the channel um, and it's much appreciated. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace. All right, y'all. So what happened? Yeah, excuse my hair. I mean, this is the, the, the best thing about trading is, you know, you don't have to, uh, you know, care what you look like. Like for all you know, I could be wearing no shorts. <laughs> um, but no, let, let's go ahead and uh, check out and see what happened with that trade yesterday or last night, how it played out in the morning. Um, you know, we were able to make some good money just off that one entry. And then if it kept going, you know, 
we, we, we make more money, right? Or if it went back up, we still made a little bit more. But, you know, let's just check it out, though. So this is where we got in for the sell. We took our, uh, our big profit right here and then ended up going to sleep and put our stop losses in the profit a little bit. And then price ended up actually this is where we took profit i'm not gonna lie like perfect 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 exit like we got out at the perfect time because look price shot all the way back up hit our break even so if we go to our history well for this week we made 23 dollars, so we made about 20 percent on our account um and then we made 34 dollars off this trade so you guys are seeing small small gains or whatnot you got to think about this this was a 60 dollar account and it's now at 140 dollars guys that's over double um that's over 100 percent gains now what you guys are going to see is you're going to see me starting to up my lot size a little bit more obviously because i have more of my account so i have more you know margin and, I, and i'm able to do that so if you guys uh, are liking these videos you're ready to see part three where it's gonna be absolutely crazy we're making 40 50 to 150 dollar profits maybe even more make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that like button and other than that guys i will see you guys on the next video and please please comment below anything that you guys want to know about trading if there's any uh certain things that you you know want me to go more in depth about and i'll make a separate video you know just over how i trade in that certain aspect for whatever you know that question is so i hope you guys are enjoying this please let me know if you are let me know if you're not you know go comment below if you think this is stupid or hit the dislike button i don't care um you know just do one or the other like dislike subscribe hit that notification bell comment below and i'll see you guys on the next video peace